going on guys well, this is young outdoorsman we're back at you with another video and in today's video we're going to be fleshing a deer hide and uh maybe even also a bear hide i got the bear hide from the freezer i got everything out of the freezers and let everything thaw out and i actually had this one sitting in the refrigerator already but uh we're gonna go ahead and throw him on the fleshing beam and start fleshing. Now what I do is right here I got a skinning knife. Just an ordinary skinning knife. That's all I use to flesh. For the most part. What I do here is a bunch of skeeters. What I do here is cut all the large chunks of meat and membrane, cut everything I can off with a knife. And then I tack it up on this big piece of plywood. I don't know if you can see it. But I tack it up on this big piece of plywood and then I scrape the rest. It's my hide scraper that I made. So, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we'll go ahead and open our, our deer hide up here. This one was killed during bow season, and this one just didn't have its uh, winter coat yet. No, it's still knotted up big time. So, uh, let me move the camera and get y'all lined up here. There we go. So basically, all we're doing is, uh, man, this hide's like froze still. All right. See all this junk right here? All that red is meat. And there is a big hump right there. Okay, I see. That's a leg. What you want to do is take your knife and go in at an angle so you're not cutting into the hide. You're kind of just filleting the meat right off there like that. You might want to hold him tight here. It works best if your hides ain't froze. Uh, the meat comes right off so much easier when the hides, what we call it is green, when the hides real fresh. But even if it get froze, I mean it still does pretty good. Uh, you don't need a really, really sharp knife because you don't want to cut through the hide. You just want to kind of, you don't take a sharp knife to get up and under there. This one, this one's not sharp enough to shave you. It's, it's pretty sharp, but not quite there. See, sharp enough that it cuts right through the meat, but not, not the hide. The hide is the pretty blue or the pretty white. And all this little membrane and stuff, that real thin membrane, once we get it tacked up and all the big stuff off, we're going to let it completely dry, even with the membrane on it, and then we're going to go at it and scrape it with our uh, our handmade uh, hide scraper. For those who uh, who know me pretty well, I made that that bit for that hide scraper in ag class, which is pretty funny. I had my buddy my buddy give me a piece of steel from welding class one day. And uh, I had him cut it for me, and then I took it to the grinder and ground me out just a. I ground me out that bit right there, 
and put a bevel on it and uh, sharpen it up and stuck it in the uh, maple handle there. But see, just like that, it goes pretty quick. I'm just trying to get the big stuff off. This other stuff is going to come off easy later on. Uh, and again, for those who uh, know what they're doing, the, high, the hair and, I, and everything's still on the hide for now. So I've not got around to getting that off yet. Uh, two ways you can get the hair off. Probably the best way to do it is after you flush it and get it scraped real good, you can soak it in a five gallon bucket with uh, stove ashes from your wood stove or lime. And uh, that just makes the hair fall out. And sometimes it even gets the grain off with it, which is what you need. But you can do probably, I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet, but you can either do that or you can just uh, dry it, make it get real hard, and then you can go at it with that, that handmade scraper. And again, you can buy uh, you can buy these scrapers. Uh, I don't know exactly where you can buy them, but I know for a fact you can buy them. Uh, probably at some trapping magazines, I'd, I'm sure. That's what mostly people tan for is trapping. But... Uh, I'm sorry about the weird angle here, but uh, we're just filleting this right off. And again, you got to hold your knife at just right angle, so you're skating across the hide and not cutting the hide. It's like filleting a fish, kind of just rake your knife against the bones not cut through them on most fish so uh, if you don't like this stuff and I'll go ahead and apologize just go ahead and click off and don't watch there ain't no need for hate hating on me or nothing for doing this I'm using every part of the animal that I can I use the bones the sinew the ligaments the horns and uh, absolutely the meat and uh, the hide. Use about anything I can find to use for. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep on doing this and I'm just gonna throw y'all on a pretty neat little time lapse here. And uh, I'm gonna put on some music for you guys. So uh, thanks for watching for this part. This is just fleshing, but uh, if I need to, need to address anything, I'll pop back in off the time lapse, and I'll just go ahead and show you some more stuff, but uh, y'all stay tuned.